subscribe to mark tutorial youtube channel and press this bell icon so you can stay updated with latest videos hello friends and welcome to this tutorial in which we will learn about the operator working option in mark erp firstly we will let you know what is operator working and what is the use of it operator working is a very useful option for multi user basically who works in multi user like there is one company and many employees are working under them so according to them there will be multi systems that is why this option is useful for them in multi user there is one main system and rest of the systems are connected with it suppose you are an owner under whom many employees are working and due to your busy schedule you are not able to analyze the work of your employees on daily basis basically this option is made to view and analyze the working of your operators whether your operators are doing well or not whether they are not deleting any entry or any record for example suppose one of your party has paid rupees 1000 and if any of your operator has done any kind of modifications in the bill value like 1000 to 900 etc so with the help of this option you can track these kind of things So now let's see its process in Mark ERP. But before using this option, you have to enable this option from the update operators parts because everyone does not have the power to view and analyze the work of operators. Either company owner have this power or the owner of the company is required to provide the power to his supervisor, manager, admin. So if you will open without enabling the option of update operators parts then software will show this alert message that sorry you are not authorized to use this option so due to this you cannot use this option so to enable this option we will go to masters menu then to passwords and parts and then from here we will enter on update operators parts a window of password and authority will be displayed in front of you where supervisor and operators are created by you if you want to give the authority to view and analyze the working of the operators so we will enter here first then from search in all window we will search logbook and then enter on accept button where you have an option operator logbook view delete and both means do you want that your supervisor can only view the working of your operators and they cannot do the changes in it or delete anything so for that we will set here v and if you want that your supervisors should get both the authorities like they can view and delete both so you have to set here b so you can set this according to your requirement for now we set b here then press escape key again press escape key and do yes to save changes then come to the main window Relog in the software from Control plus U key. Here you can mention that user ID and password which you have already set for your supervisor. So now you had log in with your supervisor's ID. After this, from Reports menu, enter on Operator Working option, and here you see that some options are being highlighted in front of you. Let's discuss on those options one by one. and let's understand the use and benefit of operator working option so first field is operator working press enter on it as you will enter on operator working option operator online worksheet window will appear in front of you in this you can see the login and logout status of your operators and which operator has created new sale for which party on which date and at which time etc then is logbook To maintain logbook firstly you have to enable this option from the control room because in the previous option of operator working you can able to view the working that is which of your operator has done login and exit at which time and when they have created new sale for a particular party but you will not be able to view that which operator did the modification in which bill done any kind of changes etc or any of the sale bill purchase bill has been created and so on so for that you have to enable this option from the control room but it does not mean that you are enabling this logbook option from the control room and searching the data of previous days this option starts working from that time when you enable it suppose you are enabling it today 
so from now onwards you can track the further things to enable this option go to master's menu to mark setups then to control room and search logbook here so you can see that operator logbook option is in front of you m for modify n for new and b for both means if you want to view the list of new builds only in logbook so set here n and if you want to view only modified list of builds in logbook then set m here and if you want to view both new and modified list of builds then set b here so we will set b for both until you will enable this option from here logbook will not get generated then next you are seeing delete logbook records if records are in thousands means you have thousands of records and even more than that in your software and suppose if you want that if there are records after 5000 or 10000 those should be deleted automatically or if record gets deleted less than 5000 then you can set it according to you but these should be in thousands so the records which you are required to delete manually now these will be deleted from here automatically then press escape key and do yes to save changes now come to the main menu and enter on logbook from operator working so you can see a window of logbook is displayed in front of you now you can use this option with the help of this option you can view and analyze the logbook of your all operators all together and individually as well like very firstly you will mention from which date till which date you need to view the logbook or if you want to view the logbook of any particular date so you can mention the date here accordingly suppose we are mentioning the date 14th march 2018 then next is user so from this drop down you will select that particular user means that particular operator of whom you want to view the logbook to know that when the operator have done login or exit generation of sale bill or purchase bill or have done any kind of changes in the bill took the backup and so on work which is done by the operator on that particular date those will be shown as you will fill these fields so now we'll select the user suppose arif and then enter on view so in this way you can see that when your operator have login exit when and on which date of which party the sale bill has been generated by him similarly we take an example now we will select ayan and then enter on view so you can see when the user named ayan have login and as you are seeing on screen on 21st february 2018 he has done modifications in the bill of saluja medicine center like old bill amount means that amount which was there before modification a new bill amount which is changed by this user you can see difference in both in the same way you can see difference in both bills of ahuja and seagal party to know in which party's bill the modification is being done similarly if we will select another user suppose harshit and then enter on view then you can see user has generated purchase bill for which party on which date and of how much amount So in this way you can view and analyze the complete logbook of your all operators. Then next is delete records. Similarly from here whatever entries you do in your system or whatever work is being done in your software on daily basis gets recorded in your software. So with the help of this option you can delete those records which are not in use or are too old. So you can set from here that how many records you want to delete like we have already set this option from control room that the software will automatically delete records after the limit so you have to enable this option first from control room and then you will be able to use this option so as you will enter on delete records then a window of delete records will appear in front of you where the field is shown to you total number of records means how many records are being saved in your software like in our software more than 3000s of records are being saved second is delete up to means till which date you want to delete the records like we want to delete records up to 1000 or 2000 that you will mention here and to confirm this type sure then is important workbook means the data related work is shown here the data which one of your operator has stored or restored or have taken the backup 
So if anybody takes an advantage or do changes with your database, then you will go to important workbook and from here you will see that which user have taken the data and of which company. In other words, you can view from here that which user has taken the data of which company or if any changes are being done with the data means took the backup of any of your party and restore it again after doing the changes. Or if any user has suddenly shut down while working, you can view this too. That if system is not properly shut down because this is also related to the data and there are chances of data corruption. So this will be also saved in it. So whatever are the important things and are related to our backup and data, those will be saved here automatically. As you are seeing on the screen that how many times our user system got shut down, when and at what time the data was taken by which company, when it got restored and on which date for which party the sale has been generated or done the changes in it. You can view it individually and you can view the important work of all of the users altogether. To view it individually, select an user and if you want to view all users altogether, then leave this field blank. So in this way, you can view the important works of all users. Then is data recovery book. Means when any data gets corrupted and who recovered that data means which user has recovered the data and when it was recovered. All the above you can view from here. So friends, in this way we have seen in this tutorial that how we can use operator working option in Mark ERP. Thanks for watching.